Before we get into today's video, I gotta give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Simply Safe. I'm fishing in my backyard pond right now, baby. Let's do it. Oh, it's Harvard! What is going on my fellow fish guys and girls? Fish Guy Jack here, back with another video. Look at how good the big 4,000 gallon pond looks right now. It is a beautiful sunny day here and the pond is just crystal clear, lit up, and all the fish are just looking so good. Now this pond right here is something I take a lot of pride in. I love each and every single one of those fish inside there. We've grown them up, some of them since just about two inches big. And making sure nothing happens to my fish is something super important to me. And now when I'm not out here, I don't have my own eyes on my fish and having eyes on my fish at all times is super important to me And that's why I want to talk to you guys a little bit more about today's sponsor Simply Safe. When Simply Safe reached out to the channel to sponsor me, I immediately said yes. Now, the number one thing for me is keeping my fish safe. And you know what? With birds, raccoons, possum, all these things feed on these fish, let alone somebody jumping my fence to come maybe possibly steal one of my fish, I need to make sure that I have eyes on my fish at all times. Now also with the holidays right around the corner, as we all know, Christmas, you spend a lot of money on gifts. You wanna keep those gifts safe and keep an eye wherever your gifts may be at all times. Simply Safe helps give me peace of mind knowing everything is safe. They have 24 seven monitoring protection ready to dispatch police, firefighters, or EMTs in any emergency. And with all that, it's extremely affordable, only costing you less than $1 a day. There's also not a long-term contract to agree to, so you can start and stop whenever you want. Now, if any of you guys are like me and have been waiting to get yourselves some home security, right now they're having a sale with up to 40% off new system orders, so it's a great time to get started. Now, when I was looking for security equipment, I wanted to make sure it was not gonna be a headache and be super easy to set up. And within just 30 minutes, I had everything all set up. They have advanced response technology to confirm the threat is real and to get help there fast. And my favorite thing is that it's a really high quality home security system with super affordable 24 seven live monitoring protection. There's no safe like Simply Safe. Save up to 40% on your Simply Safe home security system with their biggest sale of the year by heading over to simplysafe.com backslash fishguyjack, baby. Now back into today's video. While we're out here at the pond, I wanna show you guys a little something fun that I figured out to do the other day, and that's literally fishing in my backyard pond. It is epic topwater explosions. So what I have here is a little tiny silver side, a little frozen fish that I had in the freezer that I feed to all of my fish, and I literally just tie it on the line like that. That way, they're able to just rip it off as soon as they explode on it. Guys, this is something fun, baby, let's do it. I'm fishing in my backyard pond right now, baby. Let's do it. The secret is to overcast the pond and then reel it really quick above the water and they explode. Ready? Here we go. Just like that. All right, come close. We're coming in three, two, one. Here we go. Da -da 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 oh, it's Harvard. <laughs> Did you guys see that? This is so epic. We still have our baits. So we're basically teasing them. Watch this. Watch this. Oh my God, look at the peacock bass. Come up close. Look at him. Look at him on top of the water. He might jump out of the water. He might jump out of the water. Here we go. Oh, he got it. We're fishing in the backyard pond, baby. I got a few more to do. Let's do it. Watch this peacock bass. Look at this. Watch, watch. Look at that. He is so locked in on this thing. He's just watching it. He's so locked in on this thing. Ready? Watch him explode it. Come right watch. here. Oh! Watch him. Oh, he got it. He got peacock on. <laughs> he hung on to that one for a split second, but guys, there's literally no hook on it. I'm literally just going straight line, wrapping it around. I want to get the tarpon to wool up on again. I'm going to reel across the pond. And it comes. Here we go, guys. Oh, that's a peacock. Oh, the other peacock. No! I'm trying to get the tarpon. I could sit out here all damn day feeding these guys on the surface of the water. There's nothing better than topwater blow up. If you're a true fisherman, the best way to fish for a fish is topwater blow ups. It's hard to get the bite, but when they do explode, it's epic. So all I have is this, this little thing tied to the line. That's literally it. Once they bite it, usually it'll just rip in half. If not, it'll pull out of their mouth and somebody else will get it. This is gonna be an up close bite here. Watch right there. Here we go. Oh, the tar man, there he is again, baby! They are blowing it up. Now we're just gonna go ahead and feed them the rest of them. Cause you know what? I think it's just, uh, I think it's just right. You know, they had a good time. We had fun. Now let everybody get some free food. Who's hungry for this one? Who's hungry for this one? There, there's the peacock. There's one. Here's Jeremy. Oh my <laughs> God. Did you guys hear that? He is a river monster right here. Ready? Woo, gentle, gentle, gentle giant. All right, guys. I absolutely love these pond fish. 
there's nothing better than them. They're giant, giant fish that I go out into the wild trying to catch. But I know what you guys are waiting for. Let's head upstairs and let's get into this unboxing. It makes a fish guy's day every single time they get a new fish and I can guarantee you that. And in today's video, we have a fish that I have never had on the channel and it's a good size. It's going in the tank behind me with the stingray and the lionfish, but I hate to break it to you guys. If we were to add this new fish that I got in that tank right there, that lionfish will be absolutely demolished. So the first thing on today's agenda is to remove those guys. So let's get them out. We gotta remove this lionfish right here. I'm gonna move him into the community tank for right now because he's not big enough to eat those guys inside there. And honestly, he'll look pretty good in there. Come here, little guy. Come here, little booger. You're a little tough to catch. This is the trick. You put him like that, boom. He swims right, swims away from it. Boom, we got him. All right, this guy is venomous, so we gotta be extremely careful with him. One prick from this guy will immediately send you to the hospital, so we gotta be careful. Let's go get him in that tank. All right, buddy, come inside here. This is where you're gonna be for a little bit. Come on. I might end up moving him downstairs into our mini predator tank that's the 125 oh he went right into the rock that's exactly where i thought he would go as you guys can see most of these fish inside here like those clownfish and the blue tang are just big enough so they won't get eaten but we got this guy inside here and he's looking good so we got the lionfish out and now it's time to build our rock structure guys this fish that i have i have yet to see it it just arrived and it is big now i got a couple of these rocks laying around for this type of thing that pops up when you're not expecting to have to build a rock structure right away you gotta have extra rock laying around. So we're gonna build this guy a nice looking cave here. Now we gotta really be careful with Tom because you know, he's a stingray and if you get stung by that, that's not gonna feel too good. So we got something here, we got something here. We're gonna look for a rock to put right on the top here to create that cave. Cause guess what guys, this is a grouper. This is a grouper and I've never owned it before. And honestly, it's number one prettiest grouper in the ocean, in my opinion. Now we got the big piece going in. This is where things get tricky, okay? This is where it's gotta be put perfectly. We've come to conclusion that it's probably gonna look best just like that. Okay, we got a cave. We got a nice cave right there and our stingrays usually, if they're sitting in the sand just like this one right over here, they just sit there but if they're swimming, they're always swimming up and down the glass and doing backflips just like Tom right there. So we got our rock structure in the tank and it's looking good. Whoa, right here ladies and gents. <sighs> Brand new fish, I'm freaking excited. You guys are gonna love this fish. You're gonna love it. Ever since I moved all my predator fish downstairs, I've always missed having a beautiful fish inside the aquarium. And this one right here is gonna replace them just right. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. Holy crap. Hang on here, bear with me. <gasps> that right there is the most beautiful grouper known to mankind, a mini Otis grouper. They are absolutely stunning to say the least. Bright, bright orange, blue dots, yellow fins on the side, guys, and they are absolutely mean, and they'll be just like aggressive fish. Now, as you all know, the saltwater pond is coming, so eventually I might move him down into that pond once it's set up, but for the time being, I'm gonna keep him inside the 55 gallon. We're gonna add him to the styrofoam bin here. All right, here we go, buddy. Holy crap, guys. As, as you all know, many artists grouper are extremely extremely orange now you can see uh, guys this bin had a serious leak inside of it and we were leaking water tori was filming me and she's like uh we have a serious leak but look inside the bin we're gonna have to get them into the tank literally as soon as possible but take a look at how beautiful that fish is right there and he's extremely stressed out you guys can see the white bars going down usually he's bright bright orange but right now he is just extremely stressed and I'm gonna add some water as this is draining just so he can get an acclimation because we have a serious problem on our hands as far as the wood floor. But this grouper right here is an absolute beauty. We got them all acclimated up the best we absolutely could. So let's go ahead, let's grab this absolute beauty. Look at that fish right there, guys. He is stunning and he's gonna look even better in the water. So let's go ahead and get him in. Watch out, guys. Oh, there he goes. There he goes, he's in. He's in, he's gonna go right to the rock. Holy crap, guys. Look at that fish right there. He looks so good with the black background. The water right now is not crystal clear because we just put in the rock structure, so it clouded it up. But once this guy is just lit up the way he should be, he's gonna be beautiful. There he is underneath his cave there, just as I thought. That's how he's gonna be most of the time. And eventually, he will come right up to the top of the water knowing that I mean food. He is so damn 
pretty. We got two stingrays right here in the corner, Tom and Jerry. We're still trying to get Jerry back to full health. I know it's not the water because Tom is still an absolute beast. And now we got our beautiful mini Otis grouper in here. This is one heck of a tank and I am in love with it. Drop a good name for this guy down below. He's gonna be a staple, no doubt about it. Boys and girls, today was an action packed video. We fished in the backyard pond and saw some epic blow ups. We got a brand new fish for my 55 gallon tank. Don't forget to leave a name down below. Once again, thank you so much to Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video and I'll catch you all in that next one. Peace out.